The non-vintage for Polonger is the DNA, is the most important wine, showing the quality, the identity, the style of the house. We have been selected as a non-vintage champagne for the wild wedding in the UK. Some people at the winery were crying when they were watching at the, at the wedding. So we, we really need all our best grapes to enter in the competition of, uh, of the non-vintage. Every year we have to produce a cuvee which is going to be released in three, four, five years. This wine is made uh, from the first pressing of the grapes. The last juice is not the best juice. The best juice is the first juice. We want the best. No compromise. Exact dosage of sugar, exact dosage of yeast, and we send the bottle down to our deep cellars. At Paul Roger, we have very deep cellars, 35 meters underground. It's going to become Paul Roger Brut Non-Vintage, 36 to 48 months after. Very close of the quality of what we did the year before and what we did 10 years ago and what we did 20, 30, 40 years ago. There are 15 or 16 official riddlers remaining in Champagne. We have four at Paul Roger. Touching, turning, 50 to 60,000 bottles per day. They, they are turning one-fourth or one-eighth of a turn each bottle on the right, on the left, from top to down pushing all the depot towards the neck of the bottle. Paul Roger has been jumping into the 21st century. We are not producing a luxury item with packaging. We produce a wine of champagne. Uh, sold uh, at Glengarry. I mean, one of the champagne, but Glengarry is a, is a very important partner for us. This champagne is the one we are proud of a lot. That's our baby. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> <It> smells good. <laughs>